All right, guys, getting right into application. I did initially pump out a good four pumps. I wasn't sure how much I would end up using. I'm using the AOA sponge on one half of my face to just do one layer at first. I did notice uh, this was a good medium coverage. It wasn't matte by any means. I thought it was a nice naturally dewy kind of sort of finish. It does have a very strong scent to it. On the other side of my face, I'm using the Eco Tools, basically just a flat buffer brush. I did definitely prefer the sponge application to this one. I just always feel like the brush is a little bit more streaky, but it did just get a little bit less coverage than the sponge did in my opinion. With just one layer, you can see that it is a nice medium coverage. It didn't quite cover up my pimples. I pumped out another two pumps, and I'm going back over mostly my spots, like on my cheeks and my chin where I had the bad acne, and then, of course, on my forehead and stuff like that. Just to see how it built, I did think that it built to full coverage. Same with the brush side. I did think it built a little bit more up. Definitely covered that big friggin' pimple on my cheek. There you go, with two layers, as you can see, it's a much better coverage, but it still didn't feel heavy. I liked the way it felt. So it is 10.02 a.m. Just applied the face. I think it looks really, really good right now. Um, I did have some really weird, like, patching happening right down here towards like the end of my contouring. Um, but I'm not sure if that was a uh, foundation's fault or my fault. It's a little early for me. Obviously, if you guys see the title, you know I'm doing a review on the Cover Girl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I got it in the shade 710 just because most of the time I'm pretty much one of the paler shades. I didn't actually get to like see the shades online. I just kind of guessed. Um, I got it off Amazon as soon as I saw that it was available. I think that this has a very neutral undertone. I did see some were pretty yellow and most of them were pretty pink, but this one I think is pretty much neutral. It worked out really well for me. I could have probably gone a shade up, but unfortunately for this foundation, we're going to be testing the shit out of it because it's not coming off until probably close to 1 a.m. Um, I usually don't get home until really late on Tuesdays. So, just wanted to check in with you guys. I think the packaging on this is really cool. Um, it is kind of dirty from my nestiness, but I like how they made the top the same square. If you were like storing this in a drawer, this would make it really easy for you. My favorite thing about this entire packaging is that it locks. So you could definitely travel with this um, without having to worry about accidentally hitting that top. It is a glass bottle, so that makes it a little bit harder to travel with because it might break, but I was really happy with the packaging. It does come with one fluid ounce, which is pretty standard. And I did purchase this off Amazon for $9.99. So I am going to do my thing, and I will come back to you guys and talk to you about how she's looking, how she's wearing. I'm trying to pump myself up, guys, for a long day. <laughs> so if I'm annoying, that's like half of the reason. Thank you, guys. See you later.
make it obvious Are you still guessing for the reasons why I had to leave? Are you still looking for the key to the door? Did you not know we? guys so here we are at the 12 hour check-in as you can see I'm looking a little bit more dewy I wouldn't say oily though and that you have to give it credit for although I did powder my face with the RCMA powder you can see my highlight is still popping and my contour looks a little patchy but it still looks pretty good my forehead is very patchy but I do get oily there and then my chin always wants to scrape off I really hope you guys like this kind of video I did change up a lot of things. I kind of feel like I put like three different videos into one, but hopefully you guys like it. Please let me know below.